What's up guys? We have an epic video for you today. We're going to break down some day game infield of me and we're specifically going to show you how to approach a random girl you don't know on the street to vibe and flirt with her to getting her phone number and then how do you set up a date over text. We're going to show you the whole thing from the opener to actually me setting up the date and confirming the logistics in the end. So enjoy. All right, so before we jump into this infield, if you guys are enjoying some of the content on this channel, I do have one ask. Please hit the like button, hit subscribe, and click the bell for notification. Help us get to 100,000 subs so we can keep putting out awesome, valuable content for you guys to learn and enjoy. So without further ado, let's jump right into this. So the context here is I'm walking around, you know, I got my little husky and I actually walked past this girl. I kind of saw her, I thought she was cute, but I kind of bitched out. And then my buddy was like, yo, why did you bitch out? I'm like, you know what? You're right. So I ran up to her and this is where it goes. You see my lame attempt at jogging here. Excuse me. AMP, can't I, believe I can hey. I think we had like a little moment. Oh, yeah. I had to uh, come meet you. Do I know you from somewhere? No, I that I know. Okay. I'm Alex. I nice see you. Yeah. 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 So in a situation like that, where you chase after the girl, you know, your opener options are limited. You can't like do a very indirect opener at that point. Cause it makes no sense why you chase her down. So one where I have to chase the girl down. Typically what I say is like, Hey, I think we had a little moment, right? And typically, obviously this only works if you have a little bit of eye contact, if the girl didn't notice you at all, but you have to go with something more like, Hey, uh, you know, I actually just walked past you. I thought you were really cute. And I would have regretted if I didn't come up and talk to you. But again, I like to keep things simple. Uh, I don't go you know, too direct, but I don't go too indirect either. So here is the part where, okay, now this is, you know, I've kind of stated my intentions directly. Now it's time to vibe and flirt with the girl. I like how big your eyes are. Oh, thank you. Where are you, where are you from? From, the, from Colombia. What part? Um, cool. Yeah, I think we should move. Yeah, yeah, let's, 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 let's move. Cool. I've actually been there. I've uh, been here for uh, two months. No, I've been to, I've been to. Oh, really? oh, you have been there? Yeah, I yeah. spent two weeks in. Uh... So basically here, you know, I'm trying to establish some commonality because it is a little bit odd. You know, I came up, it's not like at a bar where like people expect to meet people. I kind of chase her down the middle of the street. So I want to establish a little bit of commonality. You'll see this is something I do a lot during day game, right? You know, I'll ask where the girl's from. And usually, you know, chances are either I've been there or I know someone who's been there or I've heard some stories about it. So some kind of commonality. I typically do that with location. Uh, uh... Zona Rosa? Zona Rosa? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Where? Uh, like, here we get to watch Indian P failing miserably a cold approach. Two years ago. Did you like It was good, except for the part where I got uh, some guy with a knife to call my money. Oh my but God. Uh, that really <laughs> but uh, other than that, it was pretty fun, yeah. Uh, uh, which other uh, part of um, YouTube? So, if I've been to her country and I have stories about it, that's going to build a decent amount of comfort right off the bat. So if that's the case, you definitely want to mention it. I just stayed in Zona Rosa, man. Zona Rosa, and did you go to like somewhere else in Colombia? Yeah, I've been to Colombia many times. I've been to Medellin, Cali, Cartagena. Oh, you like Colombia? Yeah, I like oh, Colombia. Nice. Colombia is nice. I like Colombia, I like Colombian girls, I like Colombian coffee. Oh, that's nice, I like yeah. a lot of things from Colombia. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of good things there. <laughs> So here I'm throwing in a little bit of flirting. I'm like, yeah, I like Colombian girls. I like Colombian coffee, right? So I'm doing it in a tug in cheek type of way and that shows intent and builds some sexual tension. Very light skinned for a, uh, for a roll up. Oh, really? Yeah, you, you guys are usually a little darker, right? Really? I think actually it's like the opposite. Like, bro, like, um, like rollers are more like wider because- Oh, because you're in the mountains. Yeah, so like you normally are wearing all the time like like uh, long sleeves and all those things, so you don't get really dark. But right. here, I'm like really dark. Yeah, look at you. If you yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, this is like here. Like this is my real color. This is the Russian. This is a Russian color. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. There's a where big. Where are you from? I'm from, from Russia. Russia. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. So, I'm, yeah. so which language is Russian? Russian. And yeah. English is like your second language. Yeah. I love when people ask me, so what language do you speak in Russia? Russian. I also take notice how Rhaegar is just standing there, keeping guard, making sure no one amogs us. Yeah, I speak English pretty well. I speak English better than I speak Russian. Oh. Y un poquito español. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Your English is pretty good too. Thank you. 
Thank you. I've been practicing. So there's this big misconception you should never give girls compliments. No. I give girls compliments, but my compliments are never like, oh my God, you're so pretty, or oh my God, you're so awesome, right? Those compliments, yes, you do not want to give those compliments, but I like to give compliments on things the girl will have to work on. Generally speaking, like, oh, your English is pretty good, like, you know, you've been practicing, or like, oh, you're actually, you know, pretty good. Something that she had to work on. Something that, you know, an AFC is not going to try to compliment her on. Another one is, like, again, the eyes, but that, again, that's not like, oh my God, you're so gorgeous. No, I'm making a very direct observation. Hey, you have, like, really big eyes, and that's awesome. Like, oh, like, your eyes are so blue, just like mine. Like, again, stuff like that is okay, as long as you're not swooning over the girl. Not all the time, I think, like, I can have, I can understand most of the things, but, like, at the time of talk, like, sometimes my friends so what are you doing in Miami? Uh, I am a nanny. So here I'm making a tactical move. Now this may you know, go unnoticed to the untrained eye, but here I'm positioning myself. So right now we're kind of both standing, which is okay. But now I'm leaning back and she's the one that's basically standing over me. So that gives me more of the, you know, I would say, you know, the better frame in the interaction. You know, now I'm a lot more relaxed. She's the one talking. And that's always the best. Like if you're sitting and the girl's standing, that's a good position to be in. If you're standing and she's sitting, that's bad. If you're both sitting, well, that's pretty decent. So an au pair? Okay. Yeah, au pair, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so I'm an au pair. That's funny. My first girlfriend ever was an au pair from France. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Back when I was in college. Um, what happened? <laughs> she left me for a French man. No, I'm just kidding. Nah, I so here I just, I like to do, throw in a little bit of trolling in my game or just like whatever, a little bit of humor. I find that helps a lot. So a girl like, oh, like she asked me like, what happened to my last girlfriend? I'm like, oh, she left me. And you know, usually I'll actually hold the tension a little bit more. This time I was just like kind of uh, in an erratic mood. So I didn't hold it for as long as I normally would have. But that's like shit like that, you know, add a little hum humor. And as the old RSD, Julian used to call it, emotional spikes can actually be very effective. Oh, she, she had to go back to France. It was one year contract. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I go back in August. Oh. I mean, I've been in here like in Miami two months, but I was in New York before. Like, uh, I just moved with the family. But, like, like uh, initially I was working in New York. Is it an American family or a kind of family? Yes, yeah, American family. Yes. Yeah, really Do they like you? Yes. Yeah, they, they, they say that I'm part of the family. Like, it, but it's nice. Like, no, I mean, I was with another family before them. And, you know, like, you can see how they treat you. And so they are very nice with me. They are like, they treat me like part of the family, but they also give me like my space. Like you can do whatever you want. You are a grown up. Like if you want to go out, explore, like do whatever you want. You can meet handsome Russian guys. Yes, you can uh. go. So again, this is just, we're having basic conversation here. Like guys often think the game has to be fancy or, you know, crazy shit and where you're always one-upping yourself. No, that's not a good game. Like that, good game should look like game is not actually happening. That's what good game. Good game should look like just two people who are having a conversation where the girl's into the guy. And that's kind of what's going on here. Right now, I, I do add a little bit of like, I don't want the conversation to be too plain. I do like to throw in some spikes in there. So like she said that, you know, oh yeah, you know, I can do what I want. I'm like, oh, you can go out and meet handsome Russian guys. So I do like to throw in these flirty one-liners in there to just kind of amplify the conversation and keep the girl emotionally engaged. Oh, then some like handsome Russian guys, they are fine with that. Nice. I like your doggy. Yeah, he's a good dog. Rhaegar, say hi. He's shy though. Mi pedo es un paquito timido. Mi pedo es un paquito timido. I don't know. Is that not correct? My dog is shy? Yeah, so here are my uh, terrible attempts at Spanish fail. Is mi pedo es un paquito timido? No? Uh, yeah, but, but like, it's because, uh, uh, like uh, your R is not strong. Perro? Perro. 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 Exactly. So you say like, like, you didn't say like that, so I didn't understand. But yeah, he's, he's cute. Timido? Okay, but how old is he? He's two, two and a half. <laughs> now just look how like relaxed I look. So you want your body language to be just as relaxed and chill as possible, but I'm also taking up space. And she, at this point, she's more like standing over me. So this is a very good situation to be in. You just wanna be very relaxed at ease, right? Because that shows that you're comfortable and that everything is okay. This is not some big deal. I live down the street. Okay, oh, so we're really close. I live in right there. So we're like neighbors. Yeah. We should uh, get a drink sometime. Yeah, anytime. So this is how I go about for the clothes. It's super simple. I, again, I don't do anything fancy. I don't do. I just say, let's grab a drink sometime. 
So I do like to give the girl a reason why I'm getting her number. I don't want to say, oh, cool. Uh, you know, I don't like these tricks that guys do. Like, oh, well, you know, put your number in my phone. And it's like all sneaking down. Like, I like to say the soft close. I like to say, let's grab a drink sometime, right? And I want her to agree to that. Now, there's some people who believe that you should actually make hard plans during the initial approach. And there's definitely some elements of truth to that. Personally, it's never been my style. I prefer it because a lot of times the girls, they just don't know what their schedule like. It's a lot for them. So they might commit to plans they can't do. So I like to have a solid interaction, you know, where the girl's invested, where the girl's interested in me, where I built some comfort. Then, you know, say like, hey, listen, like, I'm getting your number so you and I can hang out. It's not just, you know, to be text buddies. Not Instagram, not Snapchat, but her phone number, right? And then I get the number and set the rest up over text. And you guys can see how I do that later on. Yo, what's up? Yes, I have like two numbers because I have my Colombian number and also so let me Give me the one that you check more. Yeah. Give me the good number. Yeah, the good number. <laughs> the good number. Not that shitty American number. Yeah, it's like the American number is for, from them. Mm. So they, they pay the, the phone, so it's like... Mm. So I use like for WhatsApp, I use this one. But I'm going to add both of them. So you can so this is a very good sign when she says she's going to add both numbers. That means the girl cares. You know, when a girl quickly types something in, it's like, here you go. It doesn't even save her name. That's not really a good sign. But when you see the girl giving you both her numbers, saving everything, that's a very good sign. That means that she wants you to contact her. My name is... I'm Alex. Alex. Are you going to get confused? You need me to put, like... So I think you have to put it something in there because it's a very common name. Yeah, so... Rola Guapa. <laughs> Chica Bonita. Chica Bonita. I like all these like Spanish sayings. Yeah, it would... Like, He's que rico. Where did you learn all of that? <laughs> I just travel it. So if there's a type of girl you're into, like you're into Korean girls, it is good to learn a few pieces of, at least a few words from that language because girls often get a kick out of it when you know a few words. So I used to live in Koreatown uh, back in LA and you know, for a time I was just surrounded by Korean girls. So I picked up a few words and I'll be like, you know, I'm talking to a girl that comes to Hamida, like doing stuff like that, it makes a girl laugh and it's like, okay, he's interested in the culture, which is usually a good sign. I've had, uh, I had a Venezuelan girlfriend a while ago, okay. so she taught me some words. I used to take Spanish courses. You have, you know a lot. I know some, but I keep forgetting because then I like stop practicing and then I forget it. You're just writing up an essay in there. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So, yeah. So I'll you text, text you. Me yeah, of course. I, I, I uh, kept both of my numbers, so oh. you can just text me like WhatsApp or. Um, yeah. Yeah, nice to meet you. Okay, nice to meet you. Ciao. Sorry, I'm so sweaty. So, so this is typically how we'll end off the interaction. After you get the girl's number, you maybe talk for another 30 seconds, and then I give her a kiss on the cheek. This is this is the most common thing. Like, rarely can you pull off a kiss on the lips. That's more common with night game. But generally speaking, I, I don't end off on the handshake, something like that. You know, unless the girl's like really hesitant to hug. You know, I'll give her a hug, one hand hug, and give her a kiss on the cheek. It's a powerful way to end off the interaction. All right, so you got the girl's phone number. What do you do next? So there's, a, again, a lot of misconceptions here. Some guys believe you should wait a few days before you hit her up. Some guys think that you should call her. Some guys think you should send her a long message to remind her. No, I keep things very simple. With a cold approach number, a girl who I met, just walking around, I just sent her my name, Alex, with a winky face. Now, obviously, you're not going to say Alex unless your name is actually Alex. Just send your name with a winky. And this will tell me a lot based on how she responds to that. So she texts him back, hi, Alex, what are you doing now? That's actually a pretty good sign. You know, she's asking, what are you doing now? It means she might even be down to hang out that night. Just relaxing in the jacuzzi, you. And this is a text I commonly use. Now, I do sometimes relax in the jacuzzi in my building. Fortunately, it's been closed for construction for a while, but you can still send the text. Getting ready for bed. I plan to watch a movie before any recommendations. So kind of a curveball. So here I add another element of flirting to it. Don't dream of me too much. I like to say that, right? Uh, when a girl says she's going to sleep, I say, check out the movie Limitless. So again, it's just like a basic conversation with elements of flirting to it. Oh, I think that I have to see you more often and talk to you more to start having dreams with you. Maybe you could say that after we grab a drink or so. So the fact that she's bringing up the drink is a very good sign. I've already started something, but I will check that tomorrow. So Alex, 
tell me more about you. You had the chance to ask so many questions. I didn't ma make so many. Why don't you introduce yourself better? So she's touching on something that's a part of my game. I don't talk about myself too much, right? Like, it's not that I don't talk, but I generally speaking either ask the girl questions about her and interesting things, not like super ta boring, cliche things like, what do you do for work? You know, what's your favorite color? No, I ask her questions about life and things that are relevant. And then I also make observational humor and kind of use the we frame, right? But I don't just ramble about myself much. And it's a common thing that girls will be like, you know what, like, I just had sex with you, but I really barely know anything about you factually. So here, I'm gonna reframe this. I'm not gonna, you know, start writing an essay about myself. I say, good point. We'll have to make we'll have to make that drink set happen sometime soon. And then, in response to her, why don't you introduce yourself better? I just say, I'm a man of mystery, right? So again, that's kind of like a little reframe. She says, I couldn't agree more. She says, oh really, I think I could be good at making questions about you. Maybe I, I can know more about you in that way with a drink. So again, she's leading for the close. I don't need to do much here. All I need to do, and again, this is when you have a good in-person interaction, it's pretty easy, like a little bit of banter back and forth, and then you can make plans and go into logistics. You don't have to do anything crazy. You don't have to really game the girl over text when you gamed her in person, right? That's what a good cold approach lead should be like. So I say, sounds like a plan. Do you like wine? Yes, I like wine. Are you thinking of the, to invite me for a glass of wine in our first time going out? See you more. So again, using some Spanish, wow, me and more. I think it'll be fun to go out with you. So I'll be happy to have some wine with you anytime. I say, perfect, how's Friday or Saturday night? Friday night sounds good to me, perfect. Okay, so see you on Friday, where should we meet? Now here I could have tried to go for the straight to the house date. Knowing this girl, I did not have this information at the time, but knowing her you know, during our date, she probably would not have come straight over. It's not like she would have bailed, I would have still got her out. Uh, but you know, at this point, I don't know why, but I guess I decided to play it safe. So I say, do you know where Red Bar is? No, but I can look for it. Cool, it's real close to where we met. Okay, cool, what time is good? 9.30 is good. Uh, so here's just logistics, and I have to move the day. This is not some move. I was just legitimately busy. Uh, so sorry, work, I can't Sunday. Perfect, see you then, perfecto. And here, uh, I asked for Instagram because I wanted to confirm that you know she is as attractive as I thought she was. She gives me her Instagram. I added you, I saw it, I followed you back. So easy, hola guapa. Oh, hola, how are you today? So this is the day of the date. I say good minus some neck pain, you. My neck was really fucking killing me that day, so I don't know why. I mean, it's not good game, it's just me being real. I'm pretty good, I was having a spa day, so I'm feeling so relaxed right now. Why are you having neck pain? What were you doing? Ah, I'm going to be nice and relaxed for a date. So, you know, I'm kind of, again, this is my soft way of confirming. Now, of course, you can be more direct. You can be like, oh, cool, still good for tonight. Uh, but you don't have to answer. Like, if the girl sends you two texts, you can only answer one. You don't have to answer every single thing the girl, you know, asks you. Well, yes, I'll be. Are you getting ready? Yes, just going to get a haircut. It's 10 cool. You know, got to look fresh for these videos. Sure, I'm not home yet. I have to get ready as well. So this is just log logistics. Going to hop in the shower. Text me one on the way. I'll be there in 10, I'm heading there, I'm here, tell me when you're ready. So I'm pretty bad, I always arrive late. Again, this is not optimal game, but generally speaking also, I'm never waiting on the girl because I wait until she leaves before I head out because I plan the dates close to me. This way, if a girl flakes or reschedules, it's not a big deal. Ah, you're fast, I'm leaving now. So here's just, you know, logistics, uh, logistics, uh, buenas noches, gambas, so pretty straightforward, easy peasy. All right, so let's take a look at some of the takeaways here. So the first one is good game shouldn't be fancy. You know, you watch a lot of videos of other pickup artists and they're running around, they're doing, you know, these like crazy routines and shit like that. That's not good game. That's just like cringe and girls really don't respond to stuff like that. You want your game to be very straightforward. It just looks like two people having a conversation. A man flirting with a woman. That's the vibe I try to bring, right? So I do, you know, flirt with a girl. I do throw in some jokes in there, but it's pretty straightforward, right? It's like fairly, you know, standard conversation with like little spikes here and there. And that's what good game is. And there's also definitely a luck element. Like this chick was attracted to me. Now, of course, if I had been awkward, if I had been weird, it would not have worked out. But, you know, she was attracted to me. I guess I was her type, or at least somewhat. She was single, so that's why it worked out. So there's definitely a little bit of a volume thing to this, right? You know, you can't approach one girl a week and hope to, you know, just have a 100% success rate. You know, obviously you have to approach, you know, multiple girls in order to, you know, screen out the ones who are attractive, especially when it comes with day game. So then the second big component is, again, for the close, keep things very straightforward. The formula I follow is open and I want to stop the girl, good body language, just relaxed, at ease, fun, flirty, 
and then smoothly move things towards the meetup. You know, I say, let's grab a drink sometime. Again, I won't try to do fancy dates. Very simple, very straightforward. Let's grab a drink sometime, get the girl's number, end it off on a high note, confident hug, and kiss on the cheek. And sometimes, kiss on the lips if the situation is right. Then over text, I text her my name, usually within half an hour of meeting. And from there, if I did my you know job correctly when I met the girl, you know I don't really have to do that much over text. Now, I have situations where, for example, even though the girl was into me in person, I still had to do a lot over text text, right? Because maybe she was kind of flaky. Fortunately, this was not the case here. It was pretty straightforward. A little bit of flirting. She gave me, I would say, like somewhat of a shit test. Like, why did you not introduce yourself better? Very easy to pass that, you know, instead of defending myself or something like that. I just say I'm a man of mystery. So very small, you know, shit test. From there, it's just smoothly going for the meetup again, planning the logistics, and then making shit happen. All right. So if you guys enjoyed this content, then please do us a favor and smash the like button, hit subscribe, and click the bell for notification. It really helps us grow the channel. We're trying to get to 100,000 subs so we can do cooler collaborations and just keep making more awesome content for you guys. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more infield breakdowns. Until next time.